Hi Robin. This is your follow-up reading. I'm going to use the Rider Waite Tarot, one of my favorites. And you have five questions you want me to ask. And I'm going to go ahead and ask those first, but I'm not going to look at the cards. I'm going to set them aside and we'll get to them last. So, shuffle it a couple of times and we'll get started. Been pretty hectic around here. I have all the fans turned off right now, but uh, this is probably the only clean space in my house during this renovation. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. Right, your first question would it be best suited for me to go back to school and pursue a degree in psychology to become a psychotherapist? Well, we'll set that over here. And the next one, should I move to another city or stay where I am currently? We'll set that there. Um, your third question, would be best suited for me to pursue another career aside from psychotherapy, such as life coaching or hypnotherapy? Would it be best suited for one, or excuse me, your fourth question, would it be best suited for me to focus on astrology and tarot as a career option? And your fifth question, what's going on with my love life? <laughs> okay, we'll check those a little bit later and see what they have to say. And then we can compare them tomorrow morning with your cards. A very interesting outcome I, I'm expecting. Okay, for your regular reading, um, you said you wanted to make some changes in your life and see what options you have. Um, you're considering going back to school, and you're wondering if that would be a good choice for you. You're also interested in astrology, and you said that you were interested in finding out about your love life, what direction it's taking. So let's see what the cards have to say. This one is for you and how you're thinking right at this time, what's on your mind. That is the Three of Wands. This card is going to be about what concerns you the most and the direction you should take. And that's the Knight of Swords. Let's move these over here. Also, I want to ask um, if you do choose to go back to college, how will that work out for you? That's the Fool card. Sorry. <laughs> and the next one is, is something new coming into your life? What's out there? What direction is your life taking? Effective now. That's the Emperor card, Major Arcana. It sounds like there's something going to happen. Okay, this card is just going to be directed what's going to happen in the near future for you, depending on your choices. And that's the reversed Ace of Wands, another wand card. That's a strength card. You have a couple of those, so... Now we're going to ask a couple of simple questions about um, a couple of months from now, with the choices that you make, will you be successful? And that is the reverse King of Wands. You have a lot of Wands cards. And now I'm going to see, uh, following down that path, if you're successful or if you're not successful, what can you expect? And that is a Justice card. Another major arcana. Let's see if you can see those. Okay, my last question is, are the decisions that you're making positive? The directions you're taking? Hmm. There you go. That's the Seven of Cups. And your final outcome card is the reversed Three of Swords. Okay. Let's see where we want to go with these. 
the Three of Wands, which represents where you are right now, where your mind is at. Like I said, Wands is a strength card. Um, it's a, it's like energy and growth, and it's the fire within you. So the Three of Wands is success and a kind of status in your career due to hard work, a growth kind of thing. So if you choose to make these changes that you're thinking about, um, we'll look a little bit further, but it sounds like that that's a very positive move for you. When it says success and strength, it just means that you have a positive attitude. You know the direction you want to take. When you make that choice and you move forward, it should be good. Now the Knight of Swords. Obviously, Swords is a conflict card. Um, but the Knight of Swords itself is like uh, courage and foresight and victories. So the steps that you're taking, the choice that you do decide to make, is going to require that you put your full effort into it. But then that's something that you do anyway. So it just says that you are a person who goes full forward and with a positive attitude, you will probably get exactly what you go for. You just have to make that choice. Okay, the Fool card. Well, we all know what the Fool card means. It's new beginnings. And for you, asking about psychology and going back to school, that tells me from what I'm looking at here that that's the direction you really want to take. That's where your strength lies. That's where the positive aspect is. And it's a good choice for you because it's going to be a new beginning. So you really are serious about taking up that, that sword and going forward and choosing to do what you want to do right now. Now the Emperor card, which is a major arcana card, that is a leader. It means your willpower, your logic, your self-control, all of your strength is put into what you do. And again, that follows suit with this choice right here for a new beginning, that with your personal efforts, with your decision to go that way, that you are going to be strong in it and that it will be a positive move for you and it's a success card. It's like, um, well, it's a major thing for you. This is a big step. And as a major arcana card, it, it means that it's an event in your life that's going to change everything for you. So it's really actually uh, a good sign. It tells me that the path that you're on mentally that you want to do is going to work. Now, in a couple of months from now, the Ace of Wands, which is reversed, and Wands is, again, a strength and energy card. It means some frustration with your new start. And that often happens when you go to college. You know that already. If you go, it's harder than you thought it might have been, or the goals that you want are going to take more time than you expect. Uh, a cost factor may be part of it. It just means that when you take this road, when you make this choice, your strength is going to have to remain high, steadfast, because you will have some struggles. And I don't think that's something that you wouldn't expect anyway, because I, I, I can feel that you're a thinker. Um, you're the big picture person. You don't just look at one thing and focus on it. You see the idea of it all. And so everything around the possibilities to you are brought down into a focus point from the outside in. Um, that is kind of an indication of a person who is introverted. Introverted does not mean a negative thing. It just means that you're a deep thinker, that you like to know what the possibilities are, that you like to explore them, and that you don't want to make a decision until you are thoroughly informed and feel certain and feel confident that that's what you think you'll be most successful at. And it's looking real good, Robin. It's looking really good. Okay, I want to jump down here now to justice and the outcome for you taking this route. Not the outcome card, but what to expect. Um, justice, I thought, was kind of an interesting response to that question. It's another major arcana card, and it means truth will be revealed to you. Um, there's an exercise of fairness involved in it. 
Um, it could be that you get involved in something in college, possibly an internship, something like that, uh, where you actually have to participate with others and there, there's like, you know, a give and take kind of thing and that's part of learning sometimes. Um, college has a way of making all students feel like everything is together, everything you do is together and the goals that you have are the same and that the outcome is that everybody will be successful. But this card tells me the one thing that you have to keep in mind is that's the way it is when you go through school, but once you're out of school, you're on your own. This togetherness, this moving forward as a group, the energies that are all equal and the equal outcome for everybody that's taught to you is not, not the reality of it. There's work and there's truth involved here, meaning that you could be successful in what you learn, but over here it also tells me that there's more, more to learn, more to do after you change your career, because it's a new start for you. It would be um, finding a partnership somewhere. That's what that tells me. Now the reversed King of Wands, Wands being a strength card again, and the King itself is like uh, uh, intolerant. Um, sometimes severe, uh, argumentative, and I'm thinking that following suit here, that actually means that uh, the job search is not going to be as easy as you think. It's a career move. If, if you can financially establish yourself on your own and bring a partner in, that would be your very best choice. It might be kind of difficult, if you think about it, to go out and find a someone who's looking for a partner because you won't have the control in that situation and for you control is actually kind of essential. There are um, possibilities you know where there's a multiple partnership in a group uh, psychologists and that would probably be better for you looking at this anyway after after reading what this said that would probably be better for you in the fairness area in that if more than one is concerned in an office, there's going to be more of a group mentality and a, the fairness of it all will be a more positive force. Okay, having said that, and moving over here to what you can expect in your future, <laughs> this is the Seven of Cups. And wouldn't you know it, the Seven of Cups, Cups being love, it's um, it's a great card. It actually refers to the possibility of success in, in your daydreams, but you need to be practical. Um, sometimes there is an illusion involved with this card. In other words, you've gone through all this, you've been very successful, you've made your choices, you've followed that suit. Here you find that it's a little more difficult out in the real world. Here you find there's a possibility if you open up to the possibility of being involved in a group or on your own if there's any possibility. Those are the, the partnership really after looking at this, going to this is not the best idea. But there's an illusion of success here for you and that doesn't mean that it's not a possibility. It just means that you dream big, you have goals, and you have to reach for them. It also says to me that this may be the area in which you find that love you're looking for. Somebody who's on your level in the field that you choose. And I, I would say psychology is probably the field you're going to choose. That's what I get a feeling for. But you may come across that um, person, that love life that you're looking for when you are involved in your psychologist pursuit, your practice. The reason I'm saying that is because here it looks like you're going to have to put all of your studies as number one to accomplish your goal. In other words, there's not going to be a lot of room for a relationship that's serious. Um, I would say the college thing is probably a good time for you to just enjoy company, just have fun, but don't get serious because that will interrupt the flow of the direction that you want to take here and the seriousness of the goal that you want. Um, my feeling on psychologists is that oftentimes, and I don't mean this negatively, oftentimes this pursuit 
is because of a deep-seated need to learn more about yourself. <clears throat> I have actually done several readings for psychologists before and have found that to be a truth. So, interestingly, I think that's a direction you want to take. And I think you do have a possibility of a serious relationship, but it's going to be a little ways down the road. And it's going to be all part of that dream, your goals. Everything is going to conclude at this point with the fruition of your dreams. Your, it's a, an illusion up until this point, and then it becomes a reality. And right here, when you see the three of hearts, or excuse me, of uh, swords, which is a conflict card, but it's reversed. The three of um, swords is like... Uh, a lesser degree of a loss of some kind. So there's going to be some stumbling blocks. It doesn't mean that it's the end of anything. It just means that um, you'll probably have some downturn in the next 6 to 12 months, and it might have to do with the schooling or the choices that you make. Uh, but I can't say anything really specific. It's uh, If this card had been upwards, it would have actually expressed a serious loss. But since it's reversed, it just means a big bump in the road. Um, and that's what I kind of see for the next six months in your choices. I do see you going to school if you decide that that's what you want to do for psychology. I do see it being a successful move on your part. There are some new beginnings for you and strength in the whole choice of it. Um, there will be, after you've accomplished it, there will be a future that's a little bit bumpy, obviously. Um, but nevertheless, if you follow your um, intuition, and I think that's what you have that's a, a positive thing for you, those goals that you're seeking will come to fruition, even though you will have a little bit of a bump in the road right here. Okay, now I really want to get to those questions that we had here for you. So we can compare notes. I'm kind of excited to see what that's about. Okay. This is an up, do, upside down lover's card, and that has to do with uh, would it be best suited for me to go back to school and pursue a degree in psychology? Okay, let's put the lovers right down here. It's an interesting card for that. It's like, well, it's uh, it's a major arcana card, and so obviously it means an event in your life. I don't have a time period for it yet because I haven't um, actually focused on all the cards yet. But the lovers reversed. Let me think about this for just a moment. Um, it typically means a kind of infidelity, uh, a separation. Uh, if you make foolish decisions, it's kind of like a backflow on you. It's it's a bad choice, that sort of thing. So, I would say that this basically means don't get into any relationship in the near future. Just not ready for it. Don't take anything seriously. Because for you, that might be a bad choice. I think it would interrupt the flow of your goals, and that's, that's probably what this is saying. That's how it feels to me. Okay, your second question was, should I move to another city or stay where I am? And that is Temperance. Another major arcana card. Um, temperance itself. That means you have to negotiate and, and uh, share your thoughts and feelings with partners. Uh, there's not a, com uh, not a competitive situation, but it's more of a uh, negotiation. So I would say that in itself if you're planning on going to school in another location that's what it means you're going to have to negotiate a move um, probably no negotiate the costs of school outside of your area <clears throat> and if you decide not to move to another location for a school for college then basically this means um, stay put <laughs> Let's say it means stay put, because uh, it's the negotiations and things like that may just upset your apple cart. That's how I feel about it. Um, 
if you if if you had a partner, if you had somebody who was a permanent partner of yours, and I don't know that you do, but that basically says that there would be a conflict of uh, the situation. If you have a partner, this is going to upset the apple cart terribly. So. As far as school is concerned, it means negotiations if you go to another location. At home, if you have a partner with you, that's going to just disrupt everything. And that's what temperance means in this situation. Okay, your third question, would it be best suited for me to pursue another career aside from psychotherapy, such as life coaching or hypnotherapy? And that is the Four of Cups. So, let's see another area. Well, the Four of Cups is like weariness. It's um, where you need to um, find some enthusiasm because you're uh, already dissatisfied. And I, I'm assuming that that means that there's a possibility that you will change your mind about the psychology direction you want to take. And if that's the case, this could be a whole different direction. But we'll have to compare notes and see what you have, because I'm really surprised to see this. I was getting so much positive over here. But we'll see what your cards say. Um, to me, that just speaks to making a change being a mistake. But again, we'll compare notes and see what your cards say, and that way I'll have a better clue about this situation because that particular card is kind of confusing to me. Okay, your fourth question was, would it be best suited for me to focus on astrology and tarot as a career option? And that is the Six of Wands. That's a growth card, strength, that sort of thing. It's like riding into uh, success is what it is. So, let me think about that just a minute and how that kind of fits together with these things. Uh, I would say it means journeys, um, a bright future, leave your problems behind, that kind of thing. If you were to go that direction rather than the psychology, this is going to be something that's more fun and near and dear to your heart. And it also says there's a possibility of good success there. Um, so it is an option for you. Again, I want to compare your cards with what came up here, and then we'll see how the cards revealed to you on that question. But um, I can see that it's a positive move. In fact, I, I think you have two possibilities of a positive direction to go. So we'll discuss that when we hear what your cards have to say. Your final question was, what's going on with my love life? Well, here we go, the Hierophant. And it's, again, a, a major arcana card. Um, the Hierophant itself is like being conservative. Um, so when you take approach to anything, you're very careful. You use your wisdom uh, as you get into it. Your heart speaks kindly. And I think that's what's attractive about you. So, But under the circumstances I see here and what I see up here, as I mentioned before, it might be better to stay with um, a casual friendship. It could eventually develop into love, but if someone comes into your life in the near future, um, it, it, this doesn't speak of love so much as it does of good feelings between you or maybe a deep friendship uh, that could be a casual love. And again, we'll look at your cards and see what they have to say to you. So, I think we have a good idea of what we're working with here, and tomorrow we'll get together and talk about it, okay? Thanks.